All right, I'm going to keep this uh, kind of limited to a few things here that I've been uh, testing out. This is the newest Dragon OS Focal X image. I ran through the installation, made sure everything was okay, probably finish up a couple more things, and then put it up on SourceForge. Uh, a, lot, a lot of new things in here, but one of the uh, biggest things is building in uh, support to UHD for this Ant SDR E200. Uh, which can actually run with UHD and then the Pluto-like um, uh, drivers. And, uh, so essentially this is what it looks like. I've got one sitting here. It's in a metal case. Uh, so uh, there is actually two more antennas. I know you can't really see it in this picture that you can attach a second R uh, RX and TX. And so what I found is uh, this board uh, is actually working really well with um, SRS RAN. And so while I could show a whole bunch of things I think I'm going to limit this to showing uh, a, a change in how the Osmo network in the box uh, scripts works with UHD uh, so really any UHD device but we're going to use it with uh, Ant SDR uh, for GSM and then we'll do we'll do SRS RAN um, you know real quick and then my hope is is to dig deeper into this and then have the Ant SDR uh, and the uh, which I'm looking at right now this uh, Spectran uh, V6, uh, some of its tools to look at what is going on uh, with cellular. Okay, so anyways, the Ant SDR is plugged in, and uh, I had to configure, uh, let me think, uh, network connection IPv4. I just set uh, another interface on this desktop to .20, um, Netmask of 24 there. Wasn't really worried about the gateway. And then what you'll uh, be able to see now is uh, running UHD Find Devices uh, actually has an additional search here for the Ant uh, SDR, the E3, or sorry, the E200. And so now we can reach and we can uh, we can use that with a lot of different things. Actually, uh, uh, really anything that I've thrown at it thus far um, has worked. So let's take a look at the Osmo network in the box scripts that's in Dragon OS and I noticed I had to change uh, something here which before there just used to be a main.py PY, uh, Python file and you would start that and you would select hey do you want to use the Lime SDR or UHD uh, I, I kinda see what's going on but the for some reason when UHD and the newer 22.04 based uh, Dragon OS I, I don't know. Maybe there's like a little bit of a delay there when it was starting, and probably could fix the script a little bit better to wait till UHD, or, or I'm sorry, till the Osmo TRX starts. But I just took the easy route for right now and made two separate files. So if you want to use Osmo Network in the box scripts uh, to create some sort of uh, GSM network uh, lab environment, uh, in, in this case, normally I have the phone plugged in so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, but I, I think you'll be able to hear it and, and see what's going on here. So if, uh, let's see, we can change some settings in the JSON just so you can kind of see, uh, hear a little bit more, I guess, something that's going on and appreciate all the stuff that's pre-configured in Dragon OS. So we're going to turn this call on. Talked about it before. It's basically using asterisks behind the scenes, and that will call uh, a one or more phones that uh, connect uh, do an automatic call and just play this default voice file that you see um, there so let's save that and then we should just be able to run sudo main UHD I'll do a dash H for help just to see what do I need to set really just uh, U for interact and we'll do dash dash SIP for the asterisk support I'm not really worried about GPRS uh, and then not really worried about dash D for device because I've just kind of hard coded it in this case. So we're going to start that. We're going to see that it starts up, uh, but but it's not fully started up yet. And what I'm going to do is here just to make my editing life a little easier. Uh, we don't really need to be seeing this column here. And so now the the radio is not actually on yet so let's go ahead and start the E200 we'll see what's going on here and just to remind myself we pretty much need uh, to to do this 
uh, here in another terminal window manually might need sudo Let's see. sudo and so we'll start this okay we can see we're talking I guess I could have raised the uh, the sys, uh, CTL net core that it's talking about here but forgot about that we should be fine so give it a few seconds this is where I think the script was going wrong I was checking to see if the services was running and then it wasn't because I didn't wait long enough so now you're basically looking for this the transceiver is on the E200 is now uh, transmitting so if I go and I remotely turn the airplane mode off uh, on a GSM phone uh, we'll give it a second and so we see that it connects there and then uh, we should yep I'm getting a call and I got a text I must have the uh, call on uh, mute uh, but let's see I'll go ahead and answer that and okay I've shown that before and then and then so then the phone was automatically called was automatically text and uh, yeah there we go and so that's pretty easy to get that back going there is other scripts in the folder in the Osmo network in the box scripts folder where you can go and you can individually um, you know test out your little network send in text there okay so that was pretty quick uh, I, open BTS I, matter of fact uh, let's see I'll uh, I'll come back and, 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 and edit this out okay so I'm back I just control seed this and control seed here might be getting a little too ambitious here because I, I can't remember if I've tested this uh, with this particular setup but if we look in the uh, user source OpenBTS, you're going to see that OpenBTS is there. And uh, I, I can't remember. If we start this up, um, I'm just going to show that it can run. Uh, I've shown a video and configuration uh, using the Steam Deck, so just look that video up. Uh, it should be fairly similar setup. I'm going to just show that we can uh, get this running here um, with open BTS you'd have to configure it for uh, open registration or um, the sim information to connect but let's just see um, and so that was pretty quick the system's ready uh, the transceiver looks like we've made a connection and um, should be able to uh, connect with the uh, phone although I think I maybe in the past had actually used uh, just UHD itself just like you would with like a B205 mini uh, where you don't need this particular window open you could just do everything here so um, I'll do a little more testing on that but uh, what I really wanted to show so we'll shut down the transceiver we'll shut down open BTS so let's do uh, SRS RAN and let's make the E200 the uh, base station yeah so we need two windows open for that so we'll start sudo srs epc okay and then we need uh let's see sudo srs enb and then uh let me think we need We need to add an additional um, parameter here, and I'm just trying to remind myself. Uh, let's see. We need to add dash dash expert. I spelled it right. Dot LTE underscore sample underscore rate rates equals true. That should be all we need. So let's go ahead and start that. We have that started. 
and then what I'll do is uh, I have another uh, uh, system up here with a B205 mini and so basically sudo SRS E and or sorry UE on it and what we should see here in just a second after the FPGA loads Guess it would help if I had the B205 Mini plugged all the way in. Okay, so sudo SRS UE. And it's loading, attaching. Okay, and there we go. We have an attachment. I just had to move it uh, a little bit closer. So we got an attach, and then we should be able to ping. Let's see, one, two dot zero dot two. We should be able to ping the UE, and there we go. And so that's great. Uh, all around uh, covers a lot of different things uh, SDR here I uh, really really like it I guess one other thing we could do is uh, I might be getting a little ahead of myself here but uh, let's take a look at uh, just one more we'll look at we'll look at just a couple more things here close all this out and so just just like let's say something like uh, SDR Angel which has uh, UHD support in there and this is the newest uh, SDR Angel here so we should be able to come up here add an RX device we can find our and SDR so it must be accounting for both antennas there so let's try okay now I don't have um, really the antenna on here for this but just show that it uh, you know works in here It's not very loud because this uh, computer just has an internal speaker built in. But there we go. So an SDR E200 seems to be, you know, like transparent uh, with all the uh, applications in DragonOS that uses uh, or is capable of using UHD. 
and so there I think I should stop there it's enough things uh, to cover with that I uh, hope to pick up uh, a video here with the Spectre in V6 I'm probably just gonna have to record right on the laptop with uh, something like simple screen record or something like that because it literally is just so fast uh, that it would not do it justice recording a video uh, through some sort of real VNC or something like that so all right well hopefully uh, that was uh, helpful uh, you know get you interested in uh, maybe taking a look at that particular SDR and uh, so far it's uh, working really well for me. Alright, thanks.